Here are 30 most commonly asked advanced Excel-related interview questions, along with detailed answers. 1. What are the differences between Excel tables and ranges in Excel? Answer. Excel tables are dynamic ranges with structured formatting, automatic expansion, and built-in filtering capabilities. Ranges are static cell groupings. Tables offer better data management, automatic totals, and dynamic referencing. 2. Explain the use of VLOOKUP and HALOOKUP functions in Excel. Answer. VLOOKUP searches for a value in the first column of a table or range and returns a corresponding value in the same row. HALOOKUP performs a similar function horizontally, searching in the first row. 3. How does index match differ from VLOOKUP? Answer. Index match is a more flexible alternative to VLOOKUP. It allows searches in any column and is not restricted to the leftmost column. Index match is often preferred for its versatility and better performance in certain scenarios. 4. What is the purpose of the iFairer function in Excel? Answer. iFairer handles errors by providing a specified value or action. If a formula generates an error, it improves spreadsheet robustness and prevents error propagation. 5. Explain the concept of pivotables in Excel and how they are useful. Answer. Pivotables summarize and analyze large data sets. They allow users to quickly reorganize, filter, and visualize data, making it easier to derive insights and create interactive reports. 6. How can you create dynamic charts in Excel using named ranges? Answer. Dynamic charts use named ranges that automatically expand or contract based on data changes. By creating a chart link to a named range, it updates dynamically as new data is added. 7. Describe the use of the concatenate and concat functions in Excel. Answer. Concatenate combines multiple text strings into one. Concat is its modern equivalent, with the advantage of handling ranges and ignoring empty cells. 8. What is the purpose of the SUMIFS function in Excel? Answer. SUMIFS calculates the sum of a range based on multiple criteria. It is useful for more complex summing requirements compared to SUMIF. 9. Explain the difference between absolute and relative cell references in Excel. Answer. Absolute references, for example, one remain constant when copied or filled. Relative references, for example, a one adjust based on the new cell location. Mixed references use one absolute and one relative component. 10. How can you protect cells or worksheets in Excel, and what are the advantages? Answer. Protecting cells or worksheets prevents accidental changes. Cell protection can be set with password protection to restrict editing access. It is useful for maintaining data integrity. 11. What is the purpose of the offset function in Excel? Answer. Offset returns a reference that is offset from a starting cell or range by a specified number of rows and columns. It is often used in dynamic range definitions. 12. Explain the concept of data validation in Excel. Answer. Data validation restricts the type and values entered in a cell. It ensures data accuracy and consistency by defining rules for cell input. 13. How can you use the getPivotData function in Excel? Answer. GetPivotData extracts data from a pivotable based on specified criteria. It enables users to retrieve specific information easily. 14. What is the purpose of the DateDiff function in Excel? Answer. DateDiff calculates the difference between two dates, in years, months, or days. While not explicitly documented, it is a useful function for date-related calculations. 15. How do you use the indirect function in Excel? Answer. Indirect returns the value of a cell specified by a text string. It is often used in creating dynamic references and building formulas dynamically. 16. Explain the purpose of the if function in Excel and provide examples. Answer. The if function performs conditional logic returning one value if a condition is true and another if false. Example, equals if a 110, yes, no, 
17. How can you perform a sensitivity analysis in Excel using data tables? Answer. Data tables allow users to analyze the impact of changing multiple input values on a formula's results. By creating one or two variable data tables, users can observe different scenarios. 18. Describe the use of the Goal Seek feature in Excel. Answer. Goal Seek determines the input needed to achieve a desired result. It is useful for working backward to find the required input for a specific output. 19. What is the purpose of the text function in Excel? Answer. Text converts a value to text using a specified number format. It is particularly useful for formatting dates, numbers, and custom text representations. 20. How can you consolidate data from multiple sheets or workbooks in Excel? Answer. Data consolidation can be achieved using formulas like SUM, 3D references, or pivotables. The Consolidate feature in Excel allows users to combine data from different sources. 21. Explain the use of the index and match combination in Excel. Answer. Index match is an alternative to VLOOKUP for flexible lookup scenarios. Index retrieves values based on a given row and column, and match finds the position of an item in a range. 22. How does Excel's Power Query enhance data analysis and manipulation? Answer. Power Query is a data connection technology that allows users to import, transform, and combine data from various sources. It facilitates advanced data cleaning, shaping, and analysis. 23. What are array formulas in Excel, and how are they different from regular formulas? Answer. Array formulas perform calculations on an array of values rather than a single cell. They are entered with Ctrl plus plus, Shift plus plus, Enter. Array formulas can handle multiple values and provide more complex calculations. 24. Explain the purpose of the COUNTIF and SUMIF functions in Excel. Answer. COUNTIF counts the number of cells that meet a specified condition. SUMIF adds up values that meet a given condition. Both are useful for conditional counting and summing. 25. How can you use the Scenario Manager in Excel for financial modeling? Answer. Scenario Manager allows users to create and compare different scenarios by changing input values. It is particularly helpful in financial modeling for evaluating the impact of various assumptions. 26. What is the purpose of the Choose function in Excel, and how is it used? Answer. Choose returns a value from a list of values based on a specified index number. It is useful for simplifying nested if statements or creating dynamic selections. 27. Explain the concept of array constants in Excel. Answer. Constants are a set of constant values entered directly into a formula. They help perform calculations without the need for additional cells or ranges. 28. How can you use the data model in Excel for enhanced data analysis? Answer. The data model allows users to create relationships between tables, define calculated columns, and perform advanced analysis with features like Power Pivot. It enhances data modeling and reporting capabilities. 29. Describe the use of the ZLOOKUP function in Excel and how it differs from VLOOKUP. Answer, ZLOOKUP is a versatile lookup function that can search in both vertical and horizontal directions. It supports approximate and exact matching and handles errors more gracefully than VLOOKUP. 30. How can you create and use a dynamic named range in Excel? Answer, dynamic named range adjusts its size automatically as data changes. It is created using formulas like offset, index, or the table feature. Dynamic named ranges are useful for creating flexible and dynamic ranges. 31. How can you use the solver add-in in Excel? And what types of problems can it solve? Answer. The solver add-in is used for optimization problems, such as maximizing or minimizing a target cell by changing other cells subject to certain constraints. It's commonly used in financial modeling and resource allocation. 32. Explain the purpose of the aggregate function in Excel, 
and how it differs from other functions, like subtotal. Answer, aggregate performs calculations on a range, while ignoring hidden rows and error values. It can handle various functions like sum, average, and more. Unlike subtotal, aggregate can ignore nested subtotals. 33. How does the what-if analysis feature, specifically the scenario manager, benefit users in Excel? Answer. The scenario manager helps users create and compare different scenarios by changing input values. It is particularly useful for sensitivity analysis and understanding the impact of changes on outcomes. 34. Explain the purpose of the transpose function in Excel and how it transforms data. Answer. Transpose flips data from rows to columns or vice versa. It is useful for reorienting data when the original arrangement is not conducive to analysis or presentation. 35. How can you use the data validation feature to create drop-down lists in Excel? Answer. Data validation allows users to create drop-down lists by specifying a range of valid values. It ensures data accuracy by restricting input to predefined options. 36. Describe the purpose of the Power Pivot feature in Excel and how it handles large datasets. Answer. Power Pivot is a data modeling tool that handles large datasets with millions of rows. It allows users to create relationships between tables, define calculated columns, and perform advanced data analysis. 37. How can you use the text join function in Excel, and what are its advantages over concatenate? Answer. Text join concatenates text from multiple ranges, or strings, using a specified delimiter. It is more versatile than concatenate, as it can handle arrays and ignore empty cells. 38. Explain the use of the index match match combination in Excel for two dimensional lookup. Answer. Index match match is used for two dimensional lookups, where both row and column criteria need to be met. It involves nesting two match functions within an index function. 39. What is the purpose of the slicer feature in Excel Pivotables, and how does it enhance data analysis? Answer. Slicers provide an interactive way to filter data in pivotables or pivot charts. They allow users to visually filter and analyze data by selecting specific criteria. 40. How can you use the DAX data analysis expressions language in Power Pivot for advanced calculations? Answer. DAX is a formula language used in Power Pivot for creating custom calculations. It extends the capabilities of traditional Excel formulas and is especially powerful for analyzing large datasets. 41. Explain the concept of the Excel camera tool and its applications. Answer. The camera tool captures a live image of a selected range and links it to another location. It is useful for creating dynamic dashboards by visually referencing specific cells or ranges. 42. How does the Excel ribbon contribute to efficient navigation and access to features? Answer. The ribbon organizes Excel's features into tabs and groups, providing a visual and context-sensitive interface. It streamlines navigation and allows users to quickly access various commands and functions. 43. Describe the purpose of the SumProduct function in Excel and its applications. Answer. SumProduct multiplies corresponding values in arrays and then sums the results. It is versatile, often used for weighted averages, conditional sums, and array-based calculations. 44. How can you use the Excel camera tool and the hyperlink function to create interactive dashboards? Answer. The camera tool captures dynamic images of selected ranges, and the hyperlink function allows users to create clickable elements. Combining these features enables the creation of interactive dashboards. 45. Explain the purpose of the getPivotData function in Excel and how it retrieves data from pivotables. Answer. GetPivotData extracts data from a specific cell in a pivotable based on specified criteria. It is useful for referencing and retrieving data in a structured manner. 46. 
How does Excel's Power Query handle data transformation and cleaning tasks? Answer. Power Query simplifies data transformation and cleaning by providing a user-friendly interface to connect, shape, and combine data from various sources. It enhances data preparation before analysis. 47. Describe the advantages of using Excel's table feature for data management and analysis. Answer. Excel tables offer structured formatting, dynamic expansion, automatic filtering, and improved referencing. They simplify data management, enhance data integrity, and support efficient analysis. 48. How can you use the Excel index function with match for more complex lookup scenarios? Answer. Combining index with match allows users to perform more complex lookups such as searching for values in multiple columns or rows based on specific criteria. 49. Explain the purpose of the Power Query Editor in Excel and how it facilitates data transformation. Answer. Power Query Editor provides a graphical interface for shaping and transforming data. It offers a step-by-step -step process for cleaning, filtering, and manipulating data before loading it into Excel. 50. How can you use the Excel Goal Seek feature for scenario analysis and achieving specific outcomes? Answer. Goal Seek is used to find the input value needed to achieve a desired result. It is valuable for scenario analysis and determining the necessary input for a specific outcome. These questions and answers cover advanced Excel features and functionalities. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers, and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most. Ask interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.